The Miami Dolphins made a lot of noise this offseason, a lot of good and a lot of bad. Let's focus on the good, though, and that good primarily consists of building around its young quarterback who hasn't had a lot of support during his first two seasons in the NFL. Now, Mike McDaniel comes over as head coach here, and he'll be tasked with getting this team over the hump. They finished above 500 in each of the past two seasons, but still failed to get into the playoffs. So let's take a look at the Miami Dolphins futures odds for 2022. And I'll give you my best bet for the team. If you're looking to place a futures bet this season, make sure you're using the futures odds comparison tool over at VegasInsider.com. All right, Miami Dolphins, they are 40 to 1 to win the Super Bowl, 20 to 1 to win the AFC, plus 450 to win the AFC East with an over under win total of eight and a half plus money on the underside of that. So Miami is a team, they've been right there the past couple seasons and right on the doorstep of a playoff berth. But like I said, they haven't been able to get over the hop. However, with all the upgrades they've made over the offseason, especially to the offensive line, that's something that's kind of flying under the radar. I like Miami to get over that hump, and I'll take the Dolphins to make the playoffs at plus 142 as my best bet for this team for the upcoming season. So listen, sometimes excuses are legit. And Tua has a very, very long list of them. And Tua, he's somehow become one of the biggest punching bags in all of the NFL. And if you know me, you follow my content. I do not think that is fair. Context matters, people. And he's been surrounded by an awful offensive line. No running game to lean on. A group of wide receivers outside of Jalen Waddle that cannot get any separation whatsoever. A revolving door of coaches on the offensive side of the football. He's got a pretty long list here, but this season, it's different. And the tide is starting to turn. They made those upgrades on the offensive line. They have an offensive-minded head coach. They're building around this guy. They brought in Tyree Kill. Some good running backs from the look of things. And I think that this Miami team is going to be very difficult to game plan for on the offensive side of the football. It's going to be one of the fastest teams in the NFL pairing Tyreek Hill with Jalen Waddle. So I think Miami could surprise a little bit there on the offensive side of the ball. Taking a look at the defensive side of things here for Miami, they look pretty good there too. Now, I know the schedule in the second half, you know, they didn't exactly go up against elite competition but all you can do is play the schedule in front of you and check out what Miami did they allowed fewer than 20 points in six of their final nine games in 2021 and I think it's fair to assume we'll see a sophomore leap from Javon Holland and Jalen Phillips who really emerged as impact players during their rookie seasons and the schedule's not bad either of course they got the Jets twice they got the Texans they got the Lions they got the Bears Likely the Browns without Deshaun Watson. They host the Steelers team, who's a pretty big question mark. And they've been pretty good against the Patriots, 3 and 1 since Tom Brady left town. So I know you see the helmet in the background. You know me as a Dolphins fan. And you might think that this is a biased pick. But guys, I'm not out here predicting that the Dolphins will win the Super Bowl. That's not going to happen. I'm predicting that they'll be a top seven team in the AFC after being close the past couple seasons and making some significant. Upgrade. So there you have it. My best bet for my Miami Dolphins in 2022. Let me know what you think of that pick in the comment section right down there. Make sure you're subscribing to this video and I will have a preview for every single NFL team leading up to kickoff of the 2022 season. Find them right here on the Vegas Insider YouTube page. Good luck out there.